Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is actually the third video I've tried to make today because the first, first two were utter failures, so I had to scrape them, as you can see from the canvas. But uh, I think I got the color palettes wrong, so it wasn't, uh, wasn't very successful this morning. But I'm hoping that this afternoon's pour will be a bit better. Um, I actually got my mum here uh, watching the pour. She's down from Joburg on holiday, and it's the first time I've seen her in 18 months. So it's really nice to have her here. Um, and to have her watching me do a pour. So I'm hoping it's going to work this time, guys. Oh, forgot one of the lights. Um, I'm going to be doing an open cup pour, and the colors I'm using are a deep pink and sort of a light blue, and then we've got a very light pink and a light sort of, I don't know what it is, sky, not a sky blue, but like a purpley type of blue. Um, and the base color we're going to be using is white. Um, as normal, I've put in a little bit of silicone into each one uh, to get the cells, so let's get going. Right guys, there we go, we've got it down. I'm just going to spin this off so we don't get left with the splurge of colour in the middle. There we go. I'll get my gloves on and then we'll get tilting. It's already looking really nice. I think the colour palette is much better when you stick to similar sort of colours rather than mixing them all together. But let's get tilting with this. And then we'll put some flame onto it afterwards. Right guys, there we go. I'm liking the look of that. I like the, the very light pink and blue. I think it looks nice with the white. Um, and once I torch it now, we should start to get uh, some stronger colors coming through the, the white base layer. Let me get my gloves off. Right, let's see what happens when we put some flame on. Right guys, there we go. I'm glad we finally have some success. Um, which just goes to show how important it is to choose the correct color palette um, because otherwise your paintings can just be a write-off and it's just just a waste of paint for sure uh, and costs so I'm just going to do the edges here right guys there we go just finishing off the edges as we uh, we normally do I'm just going to give it one more flame and we've got some beautiful cells coming up here but I feel like we could get a little bit more in certain places. I'm just going to flame once more and see what happens. Um, I think the, the paleness of this really makes it stand out. Um, looks almost like a, a galaxy of, of some kind. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm glad I finally finished the day on a, on a good note, on a positive note. Um, yeah, there we go. So I just wanted to say I must apologize for not publishing too many videos lately. I've just been busy on another project which uh, once that starts happening I'll let you guys know about it but it's quite exciting a new little business I'm starting um, so yeah hopefully that'll uh, start happening in the next few weeks and I'll let you guys know about it but uh, that's it for today guys I hope you enjoyed this pour um, as much as I did um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel I know we haven't had a lot of views of late I'm not really sure why but uh, I'm sure you'll like this video because this painting has turned out great so Hopefully you guys all like it and uh, yeah, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, just hit the subscribe button and uh, get to see the videos as they come out. Right guys, that's it for today. I will be back later in the week and uh, yeah, I hope you have a good week and I'll uh, cut to the close up now. Cheers.